Welcome back to Codecademy's Learn JavaScript. This is Race Day. Codecademy's annual race is just around the corner. This year we have a lot of participants. You've been hired to write a program that will register runners for the race and give them instructions on race day. As a timeline, registration would look like this. 9.30 a.m. Adult and registered early. 11 a.m. Adult and registered late. 12.30 p.m. All youth. Here's how our registration works. There are adult runners over 18 years of age and youth runners under 18 years of age. They can register early or late. Runners are assigned a race number and start time based on their age and registration. Race number. Early adults receive a race number at or above 1,000. All others receive a number below 1,000. Start time. Adult registrants run at 9.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. Early adults run at 9.30. Late adults run at 11. Youth registrants run at 12.30 p.m. regardless of registration. But we didn't plan for runners that are exactly 18. We'll handle that by the end of the project. If you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click Get Unstuck to see a project walkthrough video. Here are our tasks. One says race numbers are assigned randomly. We've provided the necessary code at the top of the file. Check off this task after reading that line. You can read the hint if you want to learn how it works. Let's take a look at that. So we do have this let race number be assigned, this math floor, math random times a thousand, which works the same as the previous project we just did, the magic eight ball, except here it would be a number between zero and 999. Number two says create a variable that indicates whether a runner registered early or not. Set it equal to a Boolean value. You'll change this later as you test different runner conditions. So we can do that under here. The variable indicates whether a runner registered early or not. We could call it registered early. Assign to it true. So we set it equal to a Boolean. You'll change this later to test different conditions. So we're done with that one. Three, create a variable for the runner's age and set it equal to a number. You'll change this later as you test different runner conditions. So we can go here and then do our forgot let here. And then here, let age be assigned 31. So we're done here for now. Four, create a control flow statement that checks whether the runner is an adult and registered early. Add 1,000 to their race number if this is true. So we can go here and we'll say if registered early and age is. So adult would be over 18. So we do over 18. And it did say we'll handle if they are 18 at the end or later on. So this should be okay. Then our code would be race number. And we can use our mathematical operator here and do our plus equals 1000. So add 1000 to the race number. This would do race number is assigned race number plus 1000. So that should work. Create a separate control flow statement below the first, starting with if again. This statement will check age and registration time to determine race time. For runners over 18 who registered early, log a statement to the console telling them that they will race at 9.30 a.m. Include their race number. So here, we'll go here, and like it says, we'll do a different if statement. Here, we're going to do same if registered early and age over 18. Console.log and then backticks. Race will begin at 9.30. Your race number is, and then string interpolation, race number, period, end. And then we can do our else if, so that would be this one, late adults run at 11. Since we already checked for early adults, we can write a statement like this, else if runner is over 18 and did not register early, they will race at 11. So we would do else if here, we could say here, not early and age greater than 18, and then log out, race will begin at 11, 
your race number is race number and then here else if i'm thinking that's going to be for our youth yep number seven youth registrants run at 12 30 p.m regardless of registration for people who are under 18 log a statement to the console telling them that they will race at 12 30 p.m include their race number so here we do our else if and here we would say age less than 18 we would go into this next one else if age is less than 18 we're going to console.log race will begin at 12 30 your race number is race number and that would finish seven different combinations of values for the two variables you created and run your code several times verify the correct statements are printing to the console so here i did 31 let's run this see if it prints something out race will begin at 9 30 your race number is 1476 so that does make sense let me try 17 oh, early so this should be not registered early just want to be super precise we did call it registered early let's run it again and it did run race will begin at 12 30 your race number is 955 it's below that thousand and if we make this false and make it 21 the time should change this time to 11 also below thousand so it looks like this is working don't forget the runners exactly 18 years old add an l statement that logs a statement to the console telling the runners to see the registration desk so we would finish this off with an else no condition just console log see the registration desk run 18 here and let's see what happens we do get see the registration desk so we did get the last one so here we're just taking a combination of what we've been learning in the conditional statement section um, we did utilize the if else if statements as well as the comparison operators um, we use our mathematical operators here just being able to understand and comprehend these different tools that javascript offers is really important in moving on to the next section make sure to study it and i'll see you there